Um, can you also tell us what a fluorescence in situ hybridization tested, also known as fish? Absolutely. In short. Yeah. So fish are something that swim in the ocean and also something we love to do in the lab. Um, now the fish testing. So far, we've spoken about the, the DNA level of things or the RNA level of things. So we're down it to these very small units of your entire genome, these little individual genes is what we've talked about so far, the PCR and real uh, reverse transcriptase PCR and all that fun stuff discussed so far. Fish, on the other hand, is looking at a higher level of organization. It's looking at structural units of DNA that are known as chromosomes. And I'm sure you've heard about chromosomes. Uh, so what we're doing with fish technology is actually looking for changes to the structure of the actual chromosomes in a patient, typically because there's a malignancy that we're looking for. Um, and, and so what we're using are these little fluorescent tags that will find that abnormal chromosomal anatomy, tag it, and light up under a microscope. And someone, a specialist in our field called a cytogeneticist, can then sit back and actually identify if those fluorescent tags are present and give the physicians the information on what chromosomal aberrations are present. Thank you.